Welcome everybody to my channel. I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to hurry up, get leveled up, and get on your raft and GTFO. So what you want to do is you want to join New Atlas. I've been going to the unofficial servers. Um, a lot of times they have where you can actually get um, faster uh, rates on getting materials like fiber and wood and rock and stone and flint and stuff like that. We're going to go Midwest because that's where I am in the Midwest. So you want to go to a free port, not a lawless. Lawless is going to be tougher. It's going to be harder to get materials that you need. Um, it's meant to be that way. Freeport is for getting all your stuff and getting out on the ocean. So we're going to start here. We're going to join this. Now, I'm not going to sit around and mess around with the character creation. I'm a name my person. And we're going to get into the game. Hopefully it hurries up. Now it says live 7.0. And when I started on Sunday, this is the week of, uh, it's December 27th, so, you know, Christmas. But right before Christmas, I started playing this um, on Sunday, and it was version 4 point something. So they've done a lot to start getting this going. Bone strawberry hair. Crake Pathfinder. Hopefully this loads up quickly. I don't know why like all these servers play their music like at a thousand percent, but they just do. It'll go away here in a second. Okay, what I like to do is right away just start holding E down. So I'm holding E down right now. And as soon as it gets done with the plant, it'll break away like that. So then I'll just scoot up. And actually, you can just walk around if you want and hold E down, and you'll just collect stuff. So we're collecting a lot of fibers right now. Over on the right hand side, you have, uh, it looks like uh, color bars. What those are, are your vitamins. You have to keep an eye on your vitamins, certain foods, certain plants, each have a corresponding vitamin. And when I start killing stuff and collecting berries and stuff, I'll show you what that looks like. You, right below that is your XP. So right now I'm just running around, just collecting materials, um, a lot of fibers around this area. Um, every once in a while I'll pick up some stone or some berries. Um, there's some stone right there. That uh, acai or whatever, that's uh, a berry. And this is what the plant looks like with that berry. So when you hit I for inventory, right here's that berry. The orange arrow corresponds with the orange over here so when this when it starts getting too low you want to eat some of that to get your vitamins up and it all makes sense here in a little bit so right now I'm just gathering materials and as you can see my XP bar over there is also filling up When that gets all the way filled up, we'll level up and we'll be able to make our first set of tools and our first weapon. We'll be able to kill this pig. Now, 
the seagull, if you look, see how he's glowing? He's an alpha, or she's an alpha, and she's level 193. So if you hit her, she will kick your ass, and it'll be game over. So we're gonna start heading back towards the city. As I'm, I'm not running and holding shift down. I'm I'm just moving normally, by pressing forward on the W key. And I'm just holding E down as I move, so I can pick up anything on the ground, whether it's fibers, or rocks, or those berries. And I believe by this big stone head, there should be a pool of fresh water. Right below your XP is, uh, looks like a, a weight. And that um, is the weight for your character. Um, so that means how much you're actually holding. Now this is a fresh water pool. What that means is you can go into it, hit E, and you'll drink. And you can drink this water. You can fill up your water skins when you can create those. Um, and I'll show you that here shortly. Eventually, you'll come across these plants, and you'll you'll know what they are. This is uh, these tall ones are sugar cane, and they will eventually be used in cooking. I've never used them yet for cooking yet, but I will. These big, uh, huge flowers are term termic or whatever, um, and they also have fruit. I believe they're yellow. They're not fruit. They're a vegetable. So. This yellow corresponds with this yellow. Um, blue is for fish and pink is for meat. Now it doesn't start off where you're in too much dire need of actually starving. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to the main city and I'm gonna try to see if I can find a place that has uh, thatch and other um, branchy type um, areas so we can get some wood real quick. When you first start off, do not attack any birds of any kind, no matter what level they are, unless they're a chicken. Um, this game isn't too good about uh, flying creatures. And look at this monkey, Alpha Monkey, 206. If I hit him with something, he would kick my ass. Oh, he might kick my ass anyway. I don't know why he's chasing me. We're going to run away. He's mad. He's shitting all over the place. I don't know what's up with that monkey, but he wasn't in a good mood. I think I lost him, but we'll see. All right, so I was trying to look for some material that we wouldn't have to go out here and damage ourselves by punching trees, but I haven't found anything, so we're just going to have to hurt ourselves, which is stupid. So we're getting thatch. If you look over on the left-hand side, thatch is a crafting material and this wood. So hopefully we'll level up here shortly. this tree a couple more times I don't want to take up too much of my health all right that's it for now so if you notice my XP bar is almost ready to level up if you hit I you can look at your XP level here um, we're almost there, and then we'll be able to put some skill points in, 
and we will also be able to start crafting our first tools. Some of these plants like this one have elderberries. All right, so right now, level up. So we're gonna hit I to inventory. And, and you could do this in any order you want. This is just how I do it. I give myself some more health. I do the basics, which will give you tools. And right over here, if you notice, um, if you follow it across and down, it gives you those skills when you uh, get that. Those are the things that you can make when you get the basics. And tools of the trade will let you craft a spear. Right above that is points available right here. And when you level up, you usually get two points to put into different skill trees. And in a couple more levels, I'll show you where I put other skill points. So right now we're gonna make this, uh, we're gonna craft this uh, stone pick. So we're gonna click on inventory, come over here, do the stone pick. And I'm gonna craft this hat because we have a lot of, we have a lot of fiber, a lot of fiber. So, I'll put my hat on by double clicking and it just goes onto your character. I drop this pickaxe down in my hotbar for number one. Let's pick some more fruit. So, if you hit I and come over here to your hatchet, I need three flint and one more wood to make my axe. So we're gonna hit this tree. There, I got my one more wood. You don't want to use your pickaxe on anything other than stone unless you have to because it'll wear down faster if you were to use it on the tree. But I did learn if you just need a bunch of thatch, you can pickaxe a tree and get a lot of more a lot more axe or a lot more thatch. Sorry. So now we're gonna make our axe because we have enough to make the axe. What do we need for a spear? We need 12 wood for a spear. So, after I make my hatchet, I'm putting it down in my hot bar in my second spot. You can put it wherever you want, whatever is most comfortable for you on your hot bar. I have a mouse, I have a Naga Hex mouse, and it has a bunch of buttons around by my thumb, and it's just easy for me just to click on it and bring it out. So we're gonna cut this tree down because we'll need more wood. I'm gonna craft this spear. And then we're gonna go kill some things. Now what I like to do too is I'll move these down one spot and I like to put my spear at my number one spot. If you look down in the hot bar, there's a countdown. It's at six, five, four, three, two, one for the number one spot. That's the cooldown until that item becomes available. So hopefully that monkey isn't around and isn't gonna chase me because even if we hit it with the spear, we couldn't kill it. We're gonna go talk to this guy over here on the dock. Now this guy right here on the dock, he's gonna tell us what we need to make our raft. You hit E to talk to him, mouse over the raft. So I need 20 hide and 80, or I need about, what, 36 more wood to get, to be able to make the raft. So we gotta go kill some stuff. Let's see if there's any fish around real quick. It says you're cold, but I don't know if I believe that. We're gonna need some fish eventually because we're gonna need to use it for vitamins. So I'm gonna see when I can get down here and actually go under the water, see if we see any fish. We do. So we're gonna stay up over the water. We're gonna go swim towards the sea bass. We're gonna go under. I'm gonna bring out my spear. Actually, we're gonna go for that tuna. Tunas give a lot of meat. So I've noticed every time you kill something, you automatically grab it. So one thing to look for when you're you're uh, swimming also, 
is the lightning bolt, which is your stamina. If you run out of stamina when you're swimming, you will drown. Which is kind of neat. I mean, it kind of sucks, but it's kind of neat. Also, your spear doesn't last incredibly long. It will uh, eventually break down. So what we're going to do is we're going to chop it up with our axe. We're going to get fish meat, skin, and fish oil off the fish. Tuna gives you a lot of material. So here's a, a female chicken. Another thing is, if you're attacking a female of, of a certain breed... Um, if the male is around, he will come and attack you. All right. So let's see what, oh, we can make a campfire. So we're going to do that. So I'm moving really slow. And when you can move while you're crafting, so you can just keep moving. Uh, and uh, oh, what was I going to say? So that way you can just keep moving and getting about your business. We are looking, okay, so this turtle right here, we can kill him. Eh. Let's kill this pig instead. What we need is those hides. So this is a male pig, level 11. We're gonna see if we can take him out. Now my spear's gonna break. I'm not gonna be able to fight him the whole time. And he brought a friend and another friend. So we're gonna hope that we don't die all the way here. We're taking some damage, but you just keep punching. And hopefully, all right, so we're going to try to run away. I don't know how well it's going to work. I think we're going to die, which is okay. We can die because then we'll be able to, hopefully, if the server is good, we'll be able to collect our stuff. That happens, so don't worry about it. Um, And we also have a level up, so that's good. So, hit I, add some more health. Now, we have two points available up here. We're gonna do construction. Boy, that took up both points. Hmm. Oh, well, and usually you'd be able to, usually most servers, each one is only one point. Um, the server must be obviously more than that. It's saying I'm hot and I need to cool down, but we'll be all right. So hopefully I'll be able to find my body over here somewhere. Usually on most servers, and this one does too, it's good. The big blue light is where you died. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna collect all of our stuff. Now it's good that this happened so I can show you this also. On the right hand side is an arrow that says transfer all you click on that and you get all your stuff back so we're gonna make a spear my tools came back down here where'd that pig go that we killed oh, we'll make a, a hatchet too I guess I thought I had a hatchet yeah I do there we go. Just wasn't loading up. So we're going to kill these pigs because I'm not going to go out like that. That's not happening. Okay. Can I make another spear? What do I need? Some wood? <clears throat> we're going to craft two spears. That way, if when it breaks, I'll have a backup. That's why I got wrecked, because this dude's a level 17, but we'll be all right. Okay, and like that. Oh, see, then his buddy's got to come out of left field and get some. 
hope we don't die again. This would look bad. There we go. Okay. No more stuff's aggroing, right? Okay. So this is a good thing. And it's a bad thing. Because I'm, I'm low on health right now. It's showing that I have a broken bone. But we'll see if that just... Because my health's starting to go back up. It's saying I'm hot. So... Maybe we'll go over to this pool and go in this pool. You hit Q to put away your weapon or you can um, push the same button as your weapon is. We're going to see if going in this pool helps cool me off. a few things um, we can put our fire down over here so anytime you have like a fire or anything like that you have to place it in your hot bar before you can use it oh. we're gonna hold this down access inventory right click transfer 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 I think that's it for the meat I have we're gonna light the fire it's not looking too good I might die but that's okay it's not a big thing to die when you're this this level I mean it sucks it's annoying but it's, it's a learning experience, and it's not that big of a deal. Also, there's not anyone around to loot my body and take my stuff after I die. So that's another good thing. Okay. Like I said, it's shitty you die, but it's just respawn. And it sucks that... I kind of wish I would have paid attention, but I got excited for making this video. I wasn't thinking. I should have started on the Western Island um, instead of this one. Uh, you don't get as hot as quick. And that's what was ticking down was I was so hot that it was taking my health away. And eventually it kills you. Like you get heat stroke or some shit. It's dumb. To me it's dumb. Um, because being in the water should alleviate all that. I shouldn't have to, you know, worry about it that much. So I guess I'm going to have to go in the ocean after I put this meat in the fire that's cooking to cool off, I guess. All right, where are we at for hides? I got skin, but no hides. <laughs> it's weird. Oh, they classify this as a hide. So I think I have enough for hide. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll put this 
over here in the fire. So we got some fish cooked up and some meat. Put this over here. We're going to go for a dip. I'm going to come back and kill this pig. Because they are my arch nemesis now on this island. I am almost ready to level up again. So even underwater, I don't know what else I can do to cool off. It's still having me that I'm hot. And it's ticking away at my health and it's dumb. And some servers are like this. So until you can find the right server for you and your friends, if you're in with teammates, this is what's gonna happen. So we have a level up after I get done chopping this guy up. We will check that out. So I am going to go for stamina this time. We are going to spend one point here and do water keeper. We're going to click, click on this hammer with this cog wheel and basics of building. Because eventually we're going to work our way down here to this. And we'll be able to craft a wooden box for our raft. Um, a large storage box actually halfway down towards the list is that. And that's what we'll be building um, to put on our raft. And a chair and a fishing pole. And then we're going to get out of here. So now I'm cold. So I guess I have to go right here in the shade stupid and these are all things that they just need to tweak they need to fix I'm not gonna harp on it too much but it's still kinda ridiculous in my eyes but another cool thing alright so your common hatchet broke so in most games what you have to do is you have to go back click on make a new hatchet but in this game if you just click on your hotkey for your hatchet and if you have the materials over here on the left hand side it tells you what you consumed it'll just repair it and then just like that you're back in the action I love it that's nice so right now we're collecting wood and some thatch Now, like I said, you got to keep an eye on your water and your vitamins and your stomach for, as far as being hungry. If your <clears throat> stomach or water get down too low, you'll dehydrate or starve and then you die. It's the survival part of it. It's just the way it is. But at least there's this pool that we can drink from and fill that up now we can make some water skins but we're not going to make any water skins until we've created our raft we also make a, a bed also on our raft So 
we're going to access our inventory on this. We're going to put this meat here. Um, we're going to consume one of these, consume one of these, consume one of these, consume one of these. That'll get your stuff going over here. It will also slowly start filling up your stomach. We're going to split this stack, put it over here, light the fire. Okay. Now it's, it's time to get down to serious business and start collecting stuff and not die anymore and get this raft made. Turtles aren't too hard to kill also. They uh, will give you uh, meat also. And I'm assuming their turtle shells are made, for, used for crafting stuff too. <coughs> Excuse me, I haven't never used it yet. That part for crafting, so. What do we got for wood now? Better cut down a couple more trees. And then let my stamina build back up. Um, also, I noticed that, see how if you look, your stomach's flashing over there on the right-hand side because your stamina's filling up. Um, if your stamina gets too low, then it also affects your hunger because, well, you're working and you're burning off calories. So, it all seems to work somehow, some way. Now, if you were to eat a bunch of berries um, or eat a bunch of meat, you have too much vitamins and that can kill you too so it's all one of those things where it's got to keep everything a happy medium now I'm going to show you this if you take your pickaxe out you're going to start getting a lot more thatch than wood so if you ever need a lot of thatch then you switch um, to your pickaxe but it eats up your pickaxe's health also so we're gonna make another hatchet. It doesn't take a lot to, um, a lot of materials for the hatchet or the pickaxe for right now until you get metal ones. But that's for another video. All right, let's go talk to that dock master. We don't wanna crawl on the ground. Now, if you notice my weight on the right hand side of that bar is pretty full and that's why my guy's running so slow because he's starting to become what's called encumbered and that means you have too much weight on you and that'll be the next thing that we put points into is uh, how much weight you can carry All right, so we got enough to make everything. Double click on it, and now you're gonna name your raft. So it'll be the S, S, Minnow. I think that's how you spell Minnow. If it's not, put it in the comments. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna jump on here and I'm just gonna show you a few things. If you look at the ship over here in your upper right hand corner, the arrow is the direction of the wind currently. The green on the front means that you will go forward right now. If, you, if I were to drop my sail, I would just take off and go straight. If you come up to your sail and you hit E, you could do this and rotate your sails a full 360 degrees. That will come in later and I'll show you how to sail when we get to that point. You can fully open your sail you can open your sail 10% and just slowly leave out. You know, you can gradually add on to that and slowly bring your sail down. Close your sails, same thing, it's just reverse and fully close your sails to, to stop. If you look at your deck right here and hold E, you'll be able to go into options for your ship. So let's, let's redo this so I can say what I'm doing. I'm going over to uh, 
options for your ship. I'm left clicking. Access ship properties. Click on that. Your ship will level up also as you're traveling in the water. You'll be able to um, get additional weight, so you'll be able to carry more stuff on your stuff on your ship. Uh, additional crew members, so more people can ride on your raft with you. Accommodations, you'll be able to put more beds on your ship or your raft, um, so your friends or people that you meet online could put their bed on your raft, and that's where they would respawn is on there. And your sturdiness, of course, is how well and how strong your ship is. Okay, so, so far so good. We're up to the point where we have all of our, um, we have our axe, we have our spear, we have our pickaxe, um, we have food, we have some basic materials. Now we're going to work on making a bed. So I need some more thatch. I need about 30 more thatch. Now I'm keeping an eye on my stomach levels. Um, and we're about half for our stomach. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit I for inventory. Come over here. And if you just arrow over a food item and click E, it'll eat it. So we're going to eat two fish, two meat, three of the berries, which is orange, and four of the wild rice. Now, if you look now, our stomach is full. Um, the vitamin bars have increased because we have increased our vitamins. So that's a good deal. We're going to come over here and just start using our pickaxe because, like I said, we need more thatch than wood. All right. So we hit I. Double click left on our bed and we're crafting our bed now. Put that in the hot bar. Okay. So what else do we want to make? What else can we make? We can make a couple water skins. So that's what we're going to do. Every time you click on it, it's going to take the materials away. So right now I have three of them being made, and that'll all come here in a second. What we're going to do is we're going to fill up those water bottles only when we're going to leave. You're going to fill up one right now, or after we get back, I'm going to place my bed on my raft. I'll show you how to fill the water bottles, or the water skins. Um, water skins will lose water over time because they're just a water skin. They're not an actual bottle, so you will lose water from them. So, I like to put my bed here, so when I jump onto my raft, it isn't something that's a nuisance, like I don't get hung up on it. We're going to name it, not E, we're going to name it my bed. So when I spawn, if I die, it'll come up at the bottom, my bed. For the longest time, what was happening was, um, until they've done a bunch of patches, when you died, you would lose everything. There wouldn't be the blue light to show you where your body was or anything. You would just die. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to make a couple spears. We're going to need some more flint. Looks like, what do we need? A lot of flint. We're going to need some fibers. So I'm going to put away my uh, axe here and get some, collect some fibers. If you just stand still too, you don't have to run around. Um, once it's depleted, you'll just, won't be able to click on anything. It'll just stand there. Like that. So I did pick up a couple stone. I'm going to make a couple spears because what we're going to do is we're going to kill some stuff so we can um, level up because we need to level up so we can get out of here. Now I'm not letting that seagull 
ag let me aggro on him by accidentally hitting him while I'm hitting this rock. Because seagulls are a pain in the ass. They fly around, they glitch around, kind of like how those pigs were bouncing me everywhere. They do the same thing. All right, hit I, craft a spear. All right, so we got some spears crafting. <clears throat> now I could make a torch, but I really don't need to. Um, we're gonna make our way over to the freshwater um, area. Before we do that, we're gonna put our water skins on our hot bar. The reason why is because that's the only way they will fill with water. I could make clothes, but obviously on this island, um, it's easy to get hot. So we're not gonna mess around with that. I hope you guys are enjoying this video. I hope everything works out for you when you start doing your own thing. Transfer this over here, and then we're gonna put the fire out. We're just gonna leave that wood in here. <coughs> now, after a while, your meat will spoil, and then you'll have what it'll say, it'll say rotten meat. So then you just right click and just drop it on the ground. All right, so I'm gonna hit E real quick. Can't have anything in your hands. Hit E so I take a drink. So now my, my water's full, everything's good. Right now I'm halfway on my XP to my next level. So we're gonna hit zero, nine, eight, and seven. So now if you look at the bottom, they're all full. So if I hit I and I mouse over it, it'll say water, 99 out of 100. <coughs> Now, eventually, what will happen before we leave, we will actually fill these up because when you're on the ocean, you have no access to fresh water. So you take a bunch of these, you put them in your storage container, and if you're traveling and you start getting dehydrated or your water starts going down, you take a drink. That's the best way to do it. Best way I've found so far, anyway. So something's glowing out in the water, and it looks like, oh, it's a message in a bottle. Let's go check that out. This server has those. That's dope. So some servers have stuff floating in the water. Um, sometimes it'll be uh, this bottle. Sometimes it'll be like a crate and it'll have items inside that crate. Um, so that's pretty cool that this server does that. Let's see what it says. And it's, it's supposed to be a treasure map. So let's see. Guides you to a hidden treasure when placed in your item slot, which you can use a shovel to dig for in region A1. Okay. Well, I've never used it before. I don't want to show it on this video and look dumb when I don't know what I'm doing. So we're just going to leave it in there and maybe continue that at some other time. Right now what we need to do is find some animals to kill and start leveling up. So there's a boar there, there's a boar there, so I'll be able to fight these two. Hopefully they don't bring any friends. Here comes his buddy because they fight in groups. And like I said, if you attack a female, the male will come. You want to chop stuff up because that also increases your um, uh, XP. Next thing we're going to be making um, for the raft so we can get out of here is a storage container, a large storage container. Once I get that unlocked and we will be um, 
getting a fire for our ship. That's about it. And a chair. Just so that you have a place to sit while you're going on the ocean. So I'm just killing these chickens just for the simple fact they're easy kills and they're XP. So down in the corner, it's kind of hard to see, but I have four spears left and one just broke. So that's okay. As I'm walking, I'm just picking up stuff. Because as you pick up stuff, you um, level up. Okay, so this pig right here is a wild male pig 26. But if you notice, this one is glowing. So this is an alpha pig. And let's see what level he is. 193. So if I attack him, I'm pretty sure he'll come to help his buddy out. And we're not going to mess around with that. We're going to kill this monkey though. And let's chop him up. I'll probably just get me some fur maybe oh a pelt chickens also lay eggs just like they do in real life so we want to pick that up if we see one Kind of hoping to see a cow and a bull so I can show you that. We could probably kill that turtle too. This is the boring part. This is the part that to me sucks the most because it's just grinding. I'm just grinding levels right now so that I can level up and get the hell off this island. So as a recap, what you want to do is you want to, let's increase the weight. This sucks that this takes two because we need this one next. This So we got one more level. We'll be able to leave in one more level. So that's good, but it also sucks. Um, so let's recap. When you first get here, just start picking stuff up off the ground and just grind that way up to your first level. After that, you'll be able to... Um... Ooh, another message in the bottle. Another treasure map. Uh, you'll be able to get your first set of tools, and then you'll be able to start collecting material and work on making your raft. So we got three pigs right here in this area, and I have two spears. I don't know what this is. Saps. Hmm. Also, each island has particular things just for that island. Um, let's see, can we make another spear? Let's make a couple more spears if we can before we start attacking these pigs and things go sideways. I could attack this monkey too. Um, and let's do that. We'll just do bare fist. 
you hit really hard. And that's the haymaker right there. Chase this monkey down. All right, I'm done with you, monkey. Done messing with you, monkey. So I'm going to wait for my stamina to get caught up. Kill this chicken. Okay. We're going to kill this pig. Here comes his buddy. Here comes all three of them. Watch my health. Okay, they're going to get me. Thought I would be able to get this, but guess not. Got that one. Got all three of them, but they might have killed me because they broke one of my bones. Let's see. Eat some cilantro. Eat a couple fish. Eat a couple things of meat. You don't want to eat raw meat, but you can eat raw eggs. Eat a couple of these. And we'll see what happens. But I'm about to level up. So even if I do die, that's it's a good and bad thing. You know? My health's starting to go back up. We're just gonna sit here and see what it does. Instead of chopping this fucker up, maybe it'll give me some stamina back and I can, just by relaxing, maybe it'll help. Hit seven to take a drink out of my water skin. Now, if you notice, just a little bit of the water went out. So it'll just fill up your bar where it needs to and I still have water left over in that water skin. Over here, it just said a spoiled cooked meat, so I have one spoiled meat on me. If you get a spoiled um, fruit, it'll just um, drop. It won't say spoiled fruit. Oh, it must automatically drop it once you have spoiled food on you, because I don't see it here. We're going to drop these because I don't know what we need them for right now. We're going to drop these bones because we don't need those. We're going to keep these for right now. Keep, keep, keep. Keep. So my health's starting to go back up. So hopefully my uh, stamina will go up here shortly. The stars over there, I think that's just your, um, uh, what you call it, my bone isn't broke anymore. Um, I think the star is like getting maybe a concussion. See, there we go. Stamina is going up. Everything's gravy. Level up is available. Sweet. We survived the night. The sun is rising. We're gonna make another axe. I'm gonna use my pickaxe on this. On this so that it breaks and then I can just make another one. Now, we are gonna do, let's do fortitude. We haven't put any points into fortitude. Like I said, it doesn't matter because this character is just a throwaway character for me. But we're gonna get secrets of building. So, just to recap, the first two points go into the basics and tools of the trade. Your next two points go into construction unlock. Your next point that you, your next two points you get, so the next, so this is level one, level two, level three will be the water keeper, 
and basic building. Level four will be weaving. And level five will be secrets of building, which you get to craft all of these things, all these wooden things. Oh, I pushed the wrong button. All right, so we're gonna go into our inventory. Oh, I guess I'm level six right now. So right here, if I wanted to respec, I could click this and go through my skills and I'd be able to um, change up everything. But if you, let's say, make weapons as you already had it and you had weapons that you made, if you don't repick that, you won't be able to use them until you have that picked, which is weird, but it is what it is. So, we're going to make this craft large storage box for our ship. I'm going to craft the campfire right now because I don't want to forget. And let's see if we have enough for the chair. We don't have enough for the chair. We're close, but we don't have enough. So let's start chopping on this tree. One thing I do like about this game, and I appreciate this, is everything is every tree you can click on it and get something from it you don't have to click on certain trees or anything like that you get what you click on and that's good stone same thing if there's a big huge stone i could click on it and get stone off of it damn i'm strong i knocked trees down so now we're going to switch over to the pickaxe and go for thatch now, if you watch down in the bottom how fast this breaks down, this pickaxe, it picks, it goes down pretty fast because the pickaxe isn't made for wood. But you get a lot of thatch from it, as you can see. So we're going to cut this whole tree down with just the pickaxe. We're going to go this next big tree and go for wood. Now, my stamina, it was clicking, so it's empty. So while that's empty, what we're going to do is we're going to eat some stuff. We're going to eat three meat, three of these turmeric, and five of the berries. I don't think I have any fish left. That doesn't look like it. So we'll have to catch some fish before we leave. So we have fish on the boat. Before you leave, you want to have an abundance of meat, uh, a fruit, a vegetable, and fish. So that you can put it in your storage container and have it with you while you're on your voyage. I'm so excited. We're almost done. We're almost done. All right. So... I'm gonna craft the large storage box and craft the chair. Now while this is crafting, we're gonna go this way. This is, we're just going back around where we started from so we can go back to our ship. Now, these, thing, these plants right here, these are gonna be like a vegetable, wild beans. So we're going to need that. We're going to need abundance of this. So we're just going to click on all these on our way back. It's saying I'm cold. And I'm sure it'll break down whatever. So what I could do, let's see if I can make a full set of clothes. I might be able to. I should have enough to make a full set of clothes. Boots. This. I don't remember if I have a hat yet or not anymore. Nope. Okay. Let's collect some more of these beans. also picking up fibers that are around the beans also besides just the beans we're gonna find some fruit and collect that well actually we don't need any fruit this right here is uh, 
human feces. So that's either from me or from some other player that's on this server. It's probably from me. I probably pooped and didn't know it. So we're on a mission. I don't need to be killing anything. We just need to get out of here. We're going to fill up our water skins. So we're all ready to go. I wish I could find a patch of green green grass so I could show you how to dig for water if you needed to. Let's see if it'll let me do it here. I doubt it. You just hit X to lay down. You left click. So you're scrounging, okay? And that bar at the bottom, you have to hit it in the sweet spot. And I'll show you. Click. Click so it's green. Click so it's green. Click for it's green. So if this is uh, if you can't find a pool for water, um, you just go like this. You hit E. Maybe if it'll let me. Oh, it's not letting me drink because I'm already full. So if you hit your water skin, it fills up your water skin. So right now, we're good there. 95 is good, 95 is good, 95 is good. So we actually don't have to stop at the water spring. We're okay. We do need to eat, though. So we're going to click this a few times, click this a few times, click this a few times, and get going. So now our, our stomach got filled back up again. Um, we will have to fish before we leave. Maybe I went the wrong way. I think I went the wrong way. That's okay. We'll go on a, a short adventure. You don't want to mess with bears too much. Um, they hit really, really hard. And... Uh, even level ones will take you down if you don't have enough extra spears. So let's bring up the map. We hit M for map. So if you go over to your uh, number keypad and hit um, plus, you'll zoom in. A lot of servers have been having this problem. They don't show the island like they should. So we're just going to get out of this. I just think I went the wrong way. Um, but that's okay. Like I said, we'll just run around. It's an island. You'll just swoop back around. Looks like another message in the bottle out there. Christina Aguilera, message in a bottle. Rub me the right way. I guess as we're walking and going this way, we can collect some more fruit stuff. Just for the shits of the giggles. As I'm running, I'm keeping an eye on my stamina. Keeping an eye on my stomach and my water. If it starts going down too much, we're going to drink and eat. glad I did get to show you how to uh, collect water that was nice nice of the server to have that spot available so I could show you there we go there's that fountain in front of where our raft is Oh, chicken dropped an egg for me. How nice. How nice, chicken. 
Oh, he's upset because I took his egg. Never seen that before. That's awesome. My egg now. Thank you, chicken. <clears throat> so we're going to kind of go at this angle. Um, go in a little bit deeper water. And uh, hopefully get us a couple fish so we can load that up on the boat. Because we are going to get the F out. So when you're swimming, if you push your mouse forward, you'll go up. If you push your mouse down, while you're pushing W, you'll go down in the water. And I guess it doesn't show like we're going to get that much deeper. I don't know why my guy isn't just walking. I could just be walking in this. Dumb. But at least we're not too far from where we need to be. We're going to hurry up and get a couple fish so we can start cooking it while we're sailing along with this raw meat that I have on me. There's the SS Minnow, which is nice. Um, you can see where it's at. And like I said before, if you run out of stamina when you're swimming, you will drown. So we're going to slow up, let that stamina fill up, and then we're going to go in this little bit deeper water right out here and hopefully snag us a couple tuna. Tuna are the best fish in the world because they produce so much. But here's a sea bass, so we'll deal with him first. Okay, so you like I said, you automatically grab a hold of him. That's your ass, sea bass. So, a lot of times it says just to hit E to release the body. Sometimes it works. If it doesn't work for you, just go ahead and break out your axe. When you bring out your axe, it'll make you automatically drop the fish. So, we got some some fish parts off of him. Let's get our stamina back up before we head back into the wild blue yonder. Put the spear away so we can swim a little bit better. We got another sea bass over here, so we'll just get him. Okay, so he's swimming away. We can catch up to him. I'm keeping an eye on my stamina too. Okay, so we're gonna go up this way because I do not want to drown in my tutorial. I've already died enough, right? My stamina catch up if it will. It's raising up. Swim over this way. Another weird thing that it'll do when you get to land, it'll jump you up like that, which is kind of weird, but I don't know, just a little glitch. I don't know if that's the way they designed it, so you can, you know, jump onto your raft when you're out in the ocean. Um, you can jump off your raft in the middle of the ocean and go down and get fish if you need. So right there, I'm hitting E and it wasn't doing it. There, it did it. We're gonna break out the ax, chop it up. It also shows how long it takes to decompose, so in a minute it would be gone if I didn't start doing this right now. Okay, so away we go. We're gonna put away everything. And we are going to sail away. I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Um, if you have any comments on how you do things differently, um, go ahead and leave it down in the comments. Um, I did make this video primarily for my friends that I will be um, being pirates with, the Meat Sweats crew. But I also made it for you guys. 
for people that don't know what to do yet. It's important to learn and see how stuff is done. So you can put place this stuff anywhere, wherever it's blue. So I'm gonna place now my chest. I'm gonna put the chest over here. You can rotate it and uh, get it to where you want it. Uh, hit six. So I like to put my uh, chair like right here. So when we're sailing, I can just uh, go that route. All right, so we're gonna put right click transfer and it automatically takes it all the way over there. Transfer all this wood, transfer, transfer, where's my fish? Transfer, and we're gonna drop the poop. You can eat the poop, but it'll make you sick. Because of course it's sick, why would you eat poop? It's gross. So I'm gonna eat a couple of these. Oh, it's not gonna let me because I'm in my fire, sorry. Maybe it'll let me light my fire. Why isn't it letting me light my fire? All right, so we're gonna go into the inventory, hold E, we're gonna set the code. Maybe the server's gonna crash and it's not letting me do it. And if it crashes, I'm gonna be mad because we got this far. Set pin code. Yep, I think the server's gonna crash. Such a bummer. Maybe it'll let me sit in my chair. Nope, won't even let me sit in the chair. So the server's gonna probably crash, which it's in early release. Things like this are irritating, but you can't really get too mad about it because it is what it is. It's early release. I'm surprised it hasn't kicked me yet. When you go to do something and it doesn't let you, it's nine times out of ten, that's what it is. See, there we go. We got kicked. So hopefully we can get right back into this. If not, uh, we can, you know, you knew how to get to where we were right there. What I was going to do, if we can't get back in, um, we're going to click on rejoin. It's going to take us back to where we just were. Unable to fetch server. So the server might be down. So what I was going to do there was put all my extra stuff like my uh, leather hides, everything into my, my uh, large cabinet. I was going to set the pin code so people can't break into it. Um, people can come up to your raft and smash your stuff. I think they also can steal your raft. I could be wrong, but I don't know yet. Um, I haven't gotten that far into the game. Um, in the fire I was gonna obviously gonna start the fire so that stuff could start cooking and we were gonna leave the island let's try to see if we can do it again this is kind of irritating unable to fetch server let's click on join new atlas now one thing one thing cool is if you're your server does pop up the last server you were on there'll be a star next to the name so you don't have to worry about not remembering what server you were on hopefully the meat sweats get their own private server and I can make tons of videos and show you guys a lot of different things Well, that looks like that's it for now. Uh, if for some reason we get back on, I will put this on the end of the video on actually sailing away from the island. That's what I wanted to do. But for now, this is pretty good. I want to thank you guys for joining me. Um, please leave a comment, follow, like if you like this video. Um, but like I said, I made this for people just starting out. You can do any which way you want. But this is the easiest way that I found to get your stuff, get your raft, and get out of the, off the island. Thank you for watching. I'm out. Peace out, Girl Scout.